Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's show, we are going to hook up a 4 amp, 5 volt power supply to our NVIDIA Jetson Nano Developer Kit. Let's get started. When some folks get their Jetson Nano, they use the micro USB port to power it. Don't be that person. Use the 4 amp barrel jack instead. There are three ways that you can power the Jetson Nano Developer Kit. The first way is to provide two amps at five volts to this micro USB connector. The second way is to provide four amps at five volts to this barrel jack connector. And then the third way is to provide five volts on the GPIO headers. Each of the five volt pins can handle up to three amps, so you can have six amps total. In its default power consumption state, the Nano uses 10 watts, which is two amps at five volts. That's only for the module. It does not include the rest of the peripherals. So here's what happens to folks. They get the two amp action going here on this micro USB connector. The Nano fires up in 10 watt mode as its default, and then they add a peripheral, and then the screen goes black. In practice, you need to run the Nano in five watt mode when you're using the micro USB connector. Kind of the unfortunate part of that is it doesn't run as fast. So if you're hooked into the wall anyway, you might as well use this four amp connector and that way you won't run into that problem. We'll hook up our power supply and I'll give you a pro tip. We'll need two things. First, we need the power supply itself. I'm using a five volt, four amp switching power supply from Adafruit. This is the one they recommend. Power cord and our little transformer brick. Let's take the tie wraps off. We also need a jumper. You can get jumpers in a whole bunch of colors yellow and green and blue and black and white. Let's use the green ones. On the Nano, you'll need a couple of jumpers occasionally. You can beg, borrow, but don't steal them. You know, that's wrong. We'll use this one. It looks special. You know, I gotta be honest with you here. These things have been sitting around for an hour. I haven't seen one of them jump. I hope they're still good. Okay, we're going to use this jumper and put it on J48. That tells the Jetson to use the barrel jack instead of the micro USB for power. Let's zoom in. The J48 header is between the barrel jack and the camera connector. It's right here. Let's put our jumper on there. And then press down a little bit. Should go on fairly easily. And now let's go to our pro tip. Okay, here's our pro tip. We are going to label and color code our transformer and jack. So why would you do that? It turns out in most places that you work, they have multiple power supplies. For example, if you have a Jetson TX2 power supply, it looks just like this. And you'll find that the size of the jack is the same size as on the Nano. Here's the problem. This is 19 volts, this is five volts. If you plug this into the Nano, the magic smoke will come out. That's no good. So we label them and we color code them. It's fun and easy. Let's get out our little label maker, turn it on here. This is the best part. Just a nano five volt and we'll slap this baby on. We will use some electrical tape to color code the plug. Just take it and wrap it around here. We'll put a little mark here on the transformer. And we'll be fancy and put a little bit on the barrel jack here. So now we know we have the right power supply just by looking at the color. Let's bring it over to the desk and plug it in. I've hooked up the keyboard and the mouse, two USB 3 cameras, an HDMI display, and our power supply. Let's take a look at a demo app. These are Intel RealSense cameras. This is a D435i, and this is a tracking camera T265. They're both USB 3, and everything's running off the 4 amp power supply. The T265 has two fisheye cameras in it, and then the D435i has an RGB camera and a couple of infrared cameras, which it uses to compute depth. With the four amp power supply, you just don't have the same worries that you do with the two amp. You're not gonna run out of power as easily. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. 
Thanks for watching.